Welcome to this customer request tech tip provided by Imaginet Technologies. My name is Rusty Belcher and I'll be working through this tech tip with you today. Today we're going to take a look at a common question that we get quite often here at Imaginet and that is how do I create a view of a part that has a decal and I want to get the decal to show up in the drawing view. So I'm going to go ahead and start this by jumping over to a drawing. I have it already set up. And we're going to create a base view of the component. We'll use the current view. And I want to uh, remove my hidden lines here, so I'm just going to drop that off. And by default, uh, when you create a view, you basically get the wireframe look of the view, and decals are not included in the default view. The only way you can get your decal is to shade the view. Now to do that, I'm going to edit my view. We'll just go ahead and turn on shading and you can see the decal clearly displayed in the drawing view. Now of course this brings up all of the other colors as well and if you're going to print this view on a typical white sheet of paper on a black and white printer the colors might not appear uh, as well or as good as you'd like them on the final printed drawing. What customers have always asked for is a way to just show the decal in the classic wireframe view. And that's what we're going to take a look at. I've got an example of that. I'm going to go ahead and open up a drawing I've already created uh, to demonstrate the process. And here you can see what a lot of our customers are requesting. Uh, it's a typical wireframe view and just the decal is showing. And in this tech tip today, we're going to take a look at how I created this particular view. So I'm back over in my original file, and I want to show you how I created the view that we just saw. Well, to do it, I'm actually going to have to cheat just a little bit. What I'm going to do is color my, act, my part file with the same color that is the background of the inventor sheet. Now to do that, I'm going to have to bring in the color to the file that I'm working on. So I'm going to go up here to my appearance browser, and in my favorites area, I've got a color called inventor sheet. And if you want to utilize this color, I'll actually post it online and supply the link at the, or in the description of this video so you can download this color and try it yourself. Now, if you're using a previous release of Inventor, that's previous to uh, Inventor 2013, which I'm using today, anything uh, Inventor 2012 or older, just go ahead and use the color white flat. I'm going to right click on this color and select Add to my document materials. And this is a single part file. It's made up of multi-body uh, components. So all I have to do is go over here and select all the bodies. Right click and go to properties. I'm going to clear any overrides I have and I'm going to set the color to this inventor sheet color. And we'll click OK and let those changes occur. So here you can see our updated part with the inventor sheet color. Now let's go ahead and create a new drawing. I'll create a standard DWG for this demonstration and for my base view I'm just going to use the current orientation. I want to make sure to turn off my hidden lines because this is a single part and uh, I want to shade the view. I'll go ahead and drop it off and select OK. And we'll scoot it over here and I'll let you zoom in and take a look at the result. So here you can see what appears to be a typical uh, edge only view with the decal showing. Now if I look very closely I might see a little bit different color between the part and the bone uh, sheet color of the default inventor sheet. But you have to remember you're going to be printing this on a white sheet of paper. And to demonstrate that point I'm going to go to the document settings area and change my sheet color to plain white. I'll click OK and now I'll zoom in and you can't tell any difference between the drawing view which is actually shaded and the background color of the sheet. I've opened up another assembly and I want to show you another effect you can generate with this technique. I've already loaded my inventor sheet color into this assembly and I'm going to select all the components and then I'm going to shift select a component that I'd like to highlight in my final view. I'm then going to go up and change the color to, of all the other objects to that inventor sheet color. 
So here you can see all of our uh, background parts are going to fade into the background of the inventor sheet and this part will remain shaded and highlighted in the view. Let's jump back over to our drawing and let's drop a drawing view of this. We'll create a new drawing. I'm just going to use the current orientation. Again, I want to make sure I shade it and take off the hidden lines. And we'll drop it off right there. So here you can see the view, which looks like everything in the view is a wireframe except for one part, which is a shaded view. So let's review what we've covered in the tech tip today. We started off by creating a view that appears to be an unshaded view, but the decal actually shows up. And we also created a view, again, that appears to be unshaded except for one component. I hope you get a chance to utilize this effect in some of your upcoming drawings. If you'd like to see more tech tips, please check out imagineit.com.